hello guys welcome back to new video in today's session we'll be talking about uh, internal switches within Hyper-V uh, and how you can utilize that to have communication between your virtual machines as well as your host machine too now so all those uh, new people and especially the new student who want to create an environment and want to test different options within Hyper-V and uh, uh, create their own domain controller as well as the Active Directory or anything else they want to test the first hurdle they found uh, they find in the in the in, uh, network connectivity is that how they can have communication between their host as well as VMs. Uh, the best way to do that is to create the internal switches, and uh, that's what we'll be talking about today. Now, I already have uh, Server 2012 installed on this machine, and I have uh, enabled the Hyper V. And as you can see, that uh, I have opened the Server Manager, and I'm on the Hyper V Manager. Now the first thing that you have to do is that when you open the Hyper-V manager on the right side you can see the virtual switch manager so you will select that and uh, you can see that there are different options what type of virtual switch you want to create and there are three options within Hyper-V you can have external, internal as well as private. Now the difference between all of them is that uh, if you create an external switch it will uh, let you to or you can have uh, via this internet on your VMs as well as your host machine. If you create an internal switch, which we will be concentrating uh, in this session, that will allow you to have communication between your host machine as well as your VMs that you're gonna build, uh, uh, but you won't be having internet connection on your VMs. Private switch will only enable you to uh, have communication between the VMs. You cannot have communication with the uh, host machine. So these are the three important differences. Now to create the switch and specifically talking about the internal switch, it's very easy. You can highlight the internal switch and you can create virtual switch. You can hit that and you can give the name accordingly. Now as you can see that I have already uh, created the uh, internal switch its name is INT switch for testing so that what we'll be using it for so since I have already created I will take come out of this one but just to recap again you will go to the virtual switch manager click that and uh, in the create virtual switch you will highlight internal switch and you will hit the button for create virtual switch since I have already created it I will come out of this one now when you create the virtual switch, uh, there's automatically, I will show you if you go in the, so I'm on my host machine, the name of my host machine is, let me show you that. Is HV1. So when you create uh, internal switch, uh, let me, go to the adapter property so I'll open network and sharing center go to the change adapter setting as you can see the virtual Ethernet internal switch for testing is already created so what you have to do is that you have to give a, a static IP address in this case so you'll highlight this you'll right click go to the properties just remember that I'm on the host machine adapter setting and uh, you will select the IP version 4, highlight this and under the properties you will go. Now you have to give a static IP address. So as you can see that I have given 192.168.101.10. Uh, but if you are creating for the first time you will see something like this one. Uh, but you have to give a uh, static uh, IP address. So you will give say, your feel, feel free to give anything and uh, remember that in case you want to have communication between the host machine and your virtual machine they should have should be on the same subnet so i'll give 192.168.11.10 and uh, hit ok and i will close this so i gave the uh, I static ip address on the virtual ethernet adapter on the internal switch that we created and uh, for this test purpose I'll use the VM test VM since I have already created uh, the VM what you will do is you'll right click and go to the settings option and as you can see that uh, when I created the virtual machine I selected the internal switch for testing for this purpose but in case you're creating the virtual machine for the first time uh, you will under the virtual switch you will select 
the switch that you have made and uh, you will hit the OK button. Since I've already connected that to the internal switch, what I'll do is that I'm going to fire up this VM. So let me start this machine. And hopefully I will be able to ping from my host machine to the VM and then vice versa. So the VM is starting. Just waiting for the VM to boot up and then we'll enter our credential. So I'm logging on to the machine now, the test VM. as you can see that I'm logged in so what I will do now is that uh, we'll go to the adapter setting and give an IP address right click and open network ensuring center and go under the change adapter settings and you right click and go to the properties and same way we'll go to the internet protocol version 4 which is IPv4 and go to the properties and as you can see that I've given the IP address the static IP address and it is on the same subnet as the host machine. So let's see that if we are able to ping this machine. So let me close this and let me open the command prompt and let me ping the host machine. And remember the name of the host machine was HV1 and uh, let's see so as you can see that uh, we gave the IP address 101.10 and it is able to communicate now let me see the other way around if we are able to ping from our host machine to this VM so let me open the command prompt on the uh, host machine and let me ping let me confirm the name it was test VM Okay, so let me type test VM. Here we go. So as you can see that uh, we are able to ping. So uh, I hope that uh, this video was helpful and it will help you to make your own environment and you'll be able to play around with this one. Thanks a lot and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.